Yes, hello. I am Chef Rina Dongre. Welcome you all once again to my channel Food Prod Notes. Today we are going to discuss about creams. Let's first discuss about the dairy creams. Dairy cream is the butter fat content of whole cow's milk separated from water. The main difference between the various types of cream is the balance between water and butter fat. This difference also determines the consistency. The difference in the way they are made and time required for maturing results in different taste. Let's discuss the various types of dairy creams. Single cream, it should contain at least 80% of butter fat. It cannot be whipped as it contains very little butter fat. Single cream is also known as cooking cream as it is commonly used in making sauces, soups and in dressings. Single cream is also used in custards. Next, double cream which should contain at least 45% of butter fat. Double cream cannot be whipped too much as over whipping will turn to butter. However, it can be used to enrich sauces. However, it might curdle if boiled along with acidic ingredients. Whipping cream it should contain at least 38% of butter fat. As the name suggests, it is perfect for whipping. The texture and volume of the cream changes after whipping. It can be used for desserts or as an accompaniment or it is used in mousse to lighten them. Another type of cream is clotted cream, which consists of minimum 55% of butter fat. It is very thick and hence it is used as it is without whipping. Clotted cream is served along with afternoon cookies called scones. As shown in the picture, it can also be served along with tarts as a condiment. Sour cream is another type of cream which is a single cream with at least 20% of butter fat but it has a souring culture in it. Sour cream is matured in the same process like setting of curds. This cream can be shaped into quenelle and served with soups or salads. Sour cream can also be served as a sauce or dip in itself. As shown in the picture, the sour cream can be mixed with mustard and can be served as a dip. Acidulated cream is nothing but cooking cream which has been mixed with lemon juice to make it sour. This cream is used for making dressings for salads. Imitation cream, as the name suggests, it's not a real cream. This cream is prepared commercially and is commonly used in kitchens because of its stability and keeping quality. The taste of imitation cream is very synthetic and that's why many chefs prefer to combine whipped cream and imitation cream which gives a stable and better tasting product. As shown in the picture, Rich is one of the brand which is very popular in India, which is used in bakery. Till now, we have discussed various types of dairy creams. But in bakery, any smooth, thick and viscous liquids are classified as creams. Some examples might be butter creams, custard creams, etc. So now let's discuss the various creams which are used in bakery and confectionery. 
one of the most commonly used cream is a pastry cream which is also called as custard cream or crepe patisserie in french this pastry cream is most commonly used cream in cakes and pastry products as pastry cream can also be baked it is used in both hot and cold desserts Pastry cream is basically a mixture prepared from vanilla flavored milk, egg yolks, sugar and starch. The ingredients used for making the pastry cream are milk, sugar, egg yolks and starch. Whole milk which is fresh is commonly used for making it. Granular sugar can be safely used for making this cream as it gets dissolved while cooking in milk. custard powder is the commonly used starch for making the pastry cream however sometimes corn starch along with custard powder in the ratio of 1 is to 1 can also be used for making this cream while making the pastry cream the milk is first boiled along with the sugar the remaining half of the sugar is beaten with egg yolks along with starches to form smooth and creamy mixture this egg and flour emulsion is tempered with boiled milk solution and later on is mixed with the milk this pastry cream is boiled till it starts to bubble after that it is removed from fire and butter is added in that to get extra shine This butter cream can be used immediately or can be in, kept in refrigerator for further use. The pastry cream is used for fillings in tarts, pies and flans. It is also used as filling for gato and pastries. It is also used as a base for hot desserts. Pastry cream is used as a filling for shoe pastry to create variety of desserts next is creme chantilly which is nothing but vanilla flavored cream this is a basic bakery cream that is whipped with sugar and vanilla flavor for this the dairy cream with at least 40% of butter fat is best suitable Creme chantilly is used as filling for gato and pastries. It is used for making various desserts such as mousse and souffles. It is also served with coffee and milkshake. It is a classic condiment with fresh fruits such as strawberries and mangoes. It is also used as a condiment with scones in afternoon tea. caprice cream is a variation of creme chantilly the creme chantilly if whipped without the sugar and later on one fifth of the whipped cream is replaced by broken pieces of meringue to make caprice cream this is mostly used in the filling of cakes and pastries next we are going to discuss about lemon cream which is also very commonly called as lemon curd lemon curd is a smooth creamy paste that has a balanced taste of sweet and sour it is often known as curd because of the slow poaching of eggs in butter and lemon juice with sugar lemon curd was invented in england to use with scones instead of jam however people liked it so much that they started using it as topping and filling for cakes muffins and tarts the ingredients which are used for making the lemon curd are butter lemon juice egg yolks and sugar for making the but lemon curd the butter egg yolks 
sugar and lemon juice are mixed well. This mixture is then cooked over a bay mari. After cooling, this butter gets settled into thick cream. Lemon curd can be used either immediately or can be wrapped and refrigerated for further use. Lemon curd is used as filling for tarts, pies and flans. It is also used as a filling in sponge cakes to create gato and pastries. It can also be flavored with other desirable flavors. And it is popular as condiments with scones and dry cakes in place of jam. Next, let's discuss about ganache. Ganache and truffle are the terms which are used interchangeably. They are both made with chocolate and cream. However, even though they have the same ingredients, they are different in preparation and usage. The basic difference between ganache and truffle are first, ganache has one part of chocolate and two parts of cream, whereas truffle has 1.5 part of chocolate and one part of cream. After making, ganache is whipped to a creamy consistency, whereas truffle is not whipped and it is, remains as dark creamy paste. Ganache is used as filling, while truffle is melted and used for topping. However, in some cases like truffle cake, truffle can also be used as a filling. The ingredients which are used to make the ganache is cream and chocolate. Preferably, chocolate compound should not be used as it deteriorates the quality of ganache. For making ganache, the dairy cream is boiled and added in chopped chocolate. This mixture is then later on mixed with wooden spoon till the chocolate melts. After cooling, the ganache is whipped into creamy texture. It can be used immediately or can be stored in the refrigerator for later use. Ganache is used for filling sponge cakes to create gatos and pastries. It can be flavored with rum, whiskey, etc. It is also used as filling for shoe pastry to create variety of desserts. And lastly, the butter creams. It is nothing but equal quantity of unsalted butter and icing sugar, which is creamed to produce smooth aerated mixture, which is called as butter cream. Butter cream is one of the oldest creams used as cake fillings and can be flavored with variety of flavorings. We will discuss about butter creams in detail in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. In case of doubt, please contact me at rinadongre at hotmail.com. Thank you once again.